Well, hello, everybody. It's Dr. Hank, and thank you so much for joining Agent Wealth Success. And you know what we do here is that we help agents and brokers to increase their business and their wealth. And, you know, every week I have a very special guest. We had the number one broker in America on last week. And this guest actually this week is the most requested, wanting to see again, uh, guest that I've had out of all my podcasts. And so please welcome Christina Probian. Christina, hello. Hi there, how are you? <laughs> Great. Thanks for having me on again, Dr. Hank. Oh, you bet. And thanks for being on. I really appreciate you. And that I'd like to, um, what, where you really have become a master, and I know you've, um, I guess, would, would it be accurate to say you've tripled your business now in the last year and a half yeah. or so? So I currently have more deals under contract than I did in the previous two years each. <laughs> oh. oh, my. Yeah, it's God. pretty exciting. Oh my gosh. Well, so if folks, if you want to have more deals than you've had in the last two years, currently right now, probably we all should really listen pretty intently and take some good notes with Christina. So Christina, can you help us on, um, how did this, how do you get leads? Like what's your routine or what do you use? And so what are your secrets that you could share with us to build our business? So I, I would say that I get leads in three different ways. Okay. Um, one, one way is I pay for a Google lead ad program. Um, okay. It's a very nominal fee and I pay for that monthly and I get about 20 to 30 leads through Google lead, internet leads um, every month. Okay. Now, those leads are great, some are not, but it's just a matter of working them to convert them. Okay, and that's called Make It Rain, and they could actually contact you and ask you about Make It Rain. And how much is it every month that? Uh, well, there's three different options. I started out on the lowest one, which was $100 per month, and I had so much success with it that I actually upped it to the mid-grade, which is $250 per month. They also have a $500 program per month, and it's completely optional as to what you know level you want to go and yeah. how many you'll get for that dollar amount. Okay, fantastic, great. So first way is through your Make It Rain and, and the Google leads that you get. And second one? Second is I use a program called KV Core to generate leads through social media. Um, okay. There's a option in KV Core to create a squeeze page and you can create a squeeze page for buyers or you can create a squeeze page for sellers. Um, and then you use that squeeze page to post in social media and generate leads through that. Awesome, awesome. And KV Core, just for all of you to know, KV Core is actually the number one leads program in America. And that those leads are um, uh, typically, uh, it would cost about $20,000 the first year to get that leads program. And again, uh, through with Christina that you could ask Christina on, on um, how she could, you know, separately, you could contact her to ask how to get it for um, $50 a month. <laughs> yeah, that's all I pay, $50 a month. So between the, the Make It Rain and, and KV Core, I'm $300 a month out of pocket and that's it. Wow, that, that is fantastic. And so KB Core, and we know, and I have special training. In fact, that one of the training modules is with you, Christine, is you actually help us, you know, to do that. And we're going to get more into these lead programs and some of your secrets. But the third way that you do for leads? Relationship building. Um, I make a point to get out there in the community. I volunteer uh, at my church. I volunteer with a local foster kids program. I am active in different parent groups. I'm a mom. I have five kids. So um, I stay very, very active and out in the community. And anytime I'm out, I make a point to start conversations and create relationships with people and uh, hand out my business card. And it just, that's a, it's a great way to build your lead base. That's great. And if I can just ask on like, um, how do you typically lead in on that conversation? Like, um, it's not like, hey, I'm a real estate agent. I right, need to buy right. and sell, right? <laughs> yeah, so I would say it's it's a matter of asking them questions. So you start a conversation and you just ask them questions about them. And mm -hmm. you know what? They turn around and ask the same questions of you, which opens the door to you being able to talk about what you do. 
That's great. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, uh, great. That's great. So basically for $300, if I can, that, um, what do you think, like, uh, so we're uh, in the last three months or in the last month, whatever, but you want to, would you share with us on um, what, uh, what your commissions are? My commissions <laughs> or or closes or closes number of closes well, or, or let's see. dollar amount. <laughs> well, um, you know, I I work in an area where our um, average home sale price is probably between one hundred and fifty and two hundred. Okay. Um, I do a lot of transactions, but they tend to be on the lower side of the price point. Sure. Uh, How many know, transactions? So this month, uh, I'll have closed five. This month, I have six scheduled for next month and at least three currently scheduled for May. Oh, my gosh. That is just incredible. You know, I, um, I, I love to help agents become $10 million or more agents. And, um, <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and, and that is one of the ways is, you know, you need to, on a consistent basis, be running at least five deals, you know, whatever, and then you'll grow and you'll get a team and, you know, there's other strategies and systems to put in, but you basically first need to be able to, hey, you be able to grow, you know, with, and so there you go, you got five this month, you got six next month, and you already have three scheduled for the third month out, and that is just absolutely incredible, just, uh, just fantastic. So, tell us let, let's start out with like the paper leads when you get it because a lot of people wanted to know you gave in your, the first session that we had you gave some real good information on like how to get up with kb core how to use it you showed your computer shared your computer but now the question is kind of what do you do with the leads so let's start with on on these google leads and what we call make it rain um mm -hmm. that that what do you do or maybe they're all you do it with all three uh lead systems that you have but how do you build uh, how do you what do you do with the lead so you get the lead and what do you do <laughs> other than <laughs> so, bless it <laughs> yeah so it really depends on the lead itself every lead is different if a lead comes in with a phone number, I get on the phone and call them immediately as soon as I can. Um, yeah. Obviously, being a busy mom and a business person, I can't always stop what I'm doing, call them right that minute. Um, however, I do try to give them a call as soon as possible. And I would say only maybe about 25% come in with phone numbers and uh, just do not. So the beauty of KB Core system is that it is automatically set up with two different default drip campaigns that automatically are assigned to the lead as they come in, whether they're a buyer or a seller, they are assigned to the appropriate drip campaign. And that campaign is so effective at getting the lead to respond in some way that I basically just let the system do what it's gonna do until they respond and then I step in. Wow, that is fantastic. And, and we were actually talking before the show on, um, you know, kind of like, what do you do? And you go, well, I really, you know, don't do anything. And I said, well, you got to do something, you know. Right. You know uh, but uh, praying does work, but, you know, <laughs> that how yeah. uh, to do it. And that's what you mean is that, hey, the system just takes care of itself. And basically what you're doing is grabbing listings. So I'm going to assume like on Monday you grab listings and, and area you want to work in and uh, you're farming and then the, uh, then the system automatically takes those listings puts it into a squeeze page sends it out and then when it's a telephone number you call them back uh, you call them as soon as you can and uh, and I know you have five kids and you're just so sweet that that you had a child then you had triplets and I remember asking you my god how could you have a fifth child then you said well they can only take 24 hours of my day <laughs> <laughs> and that is just so great. I love that. And um, so, uh, so you call them, the, and that's about 25%. The other 75%, they're already taken care of with KB Core. Now, with the, um, with the Google leads and, uh, and the Make It Rain, do you, um, does it go into your uh, uh, KB Core CRM then? Automatically. So Automatically program is set up the lead comes in it goes right into kb core and if they don't have a phone number they just stay in my kb core system on that automatic default campaign until they respond and what 
the other thing about KB Core is not only does it set them up on a drip campaign, but it also sets them up on a property search alert automatically based on the property that they came in looking at. Wow. So they click on a specific property, it'll start sending them properties similar to that one. And it does it on a regular basis, which gets them coming back to my website. So even if they don't respond, mm -hmm. I still see that they are coming back and looking at properties. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the, the system is just very, very effective at getting people to come back to my site instead of going to some of the other sites out there. Right, right. Fantastic. So um, you did mention that you tried to play before our show, you did mention too, that you tried to play with uh, changing that system. Mm -hmm. I and did. you found out that that was a mistake, yes. <laughs> that, yeah. that you tried to tweak it and it tweaked the wrong way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you did add one thing. And so can you share with us what you added in order to make it more personalized? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the very first email that they get from me, whether they're a buyer or a seller, is a little video uh, email that when they open it, it automatically starts playing this video and it's just me introducing myself and saying, you know, hey, there's a real person out here behind the website. I just wanted to take a minute and introduce myself, let you know a little bit about me and how I can help you. And I really look forward to working with you. So wow. It's a little about a minute and a half long and just introduces me. And so they can see my face and hear my voice and see my yeah. tone and my tone and inflection in my voice, you know, that makes yeah. it that, that is just great. And like I said again before the show, we, we talked a lot before the show that, uh, um, that, yeah, and you're way prettier than I am. And then you noted that you had more hair than I had too. Yeah. <laughs> but that's why I love my avatar because my avatar has lots of hair and <laughs> darker hair than I actually yeah. have. You know? uh, I can run faster than I can uh, as well. <laughs> okay, so now you did um, the, the video and we understand the KV Core has an automatic uh, default system. Uh, mm -hmm. You try to call them. You set up this video then. Um, and so what else um, uh, that, what are some of the ways that you then build these relationships or uh, what are some of your secrets that you found to be very effective in uh, actually getting that deal to close? So in one way, um, I'm very active on Facebook and I'm very transparent on Facebook. I have my profile for the most part public and I only share things that I don't mind the world at large knowing. <laughs> um, and that's, and I'm very, very positive and uplifting as well on my personal page. And this is all on my personal page. I do have a business page and I do use that and I share to it sometimes and I share it to my personal page, but Majority of my relationship building with my leads happens right on my personal Facebook page. So when I start interacting with a lead, one of my first things that I ask them is, are you on Facebook? And if you are, I make a point of adding them as a friend on Facebook and getting to know, not only so that I can know who I'm working with, right? So that they can get to know me and who I am. And that step, that relationship builds a bond between myself and the lead that makes it so they don't want to go to anywhere else to look for help when it comes to real estate. They end up turning back and calling me when they're ready. Wow. That's just fantastic. I just love that. And uh, so basically you connect with them on, on Facebook and that way uh, you, you really begin that relationship. And then, you know, you have these pictures and pictures of you are, are so great. And with your kiddos and everything, because that way they can see, Hey, you're a regular person. And, and like you say, authentic, and that's a great word and a great way to be is, you know, authentic. And, and, uh, you know, my, my life is just, open to the world and it is what it is. And, you know, if you enjoy it, great. And, and some right. people don't like to be inspired. So I say, hey, I can't, I can't <laughs> yeah. like all the people. Yeah. I, I always say, you know, if, if you're offended at all by my, my personal posts, then we probably would be a good fit for you. Anyways, <laughs> <Right. laughs> I've got enough people that I attract with the pe way that I am that if yeah. I'm not for you, then that's totally okay. I'll just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's really a key attitude to have because a lot of people want to please everybody. And I call them PPs. They're people pleasers. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, you really can't, and it's not meant to be that way that mm -hmm. uh, and so you'll attract common minded people that when you ask for that, but you have to be doing that 
asking and answer. You know, I attract common-minded people. I want to have lots of leads come in. That uh, I want these to be good leads. I want them to be easy and fun and enjoyable people. And they do as I say, and they close easily and quickly. And you know, you just get into all of that, and you just send that energy out to the universe. And then there's no other option but to give you all of that that you have. <laughs> so for all of us not to be discouraged if somebody doesn't like us or if we don't please right. everybody that you know it's okay and don't put too much energy in fact put as little energy as you can on it and just basically say this is what I don't want and then move your direction to who you do want and mm -hmm. you know like thinking about the best client you ever had and then you'll get more best clients because it's a law of attraction and uh, cooperative components you know gather around each other so good good great customers and you thinking and feeling about them uh, will lead to more good uh, customers on that. So that's fantastic. Um, uh, any other um, uh, tips that you can uh, give us that build the relationship, any statements you use? Uh, I, I know you said asking a lot of questions, which is a great one, but anything else that you'd like to share with us? Well, um... When uh, trying to think, I lost my thought here. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. Sorry about that. That, that, um, that. That let's maybe go to, uh, and it was pretty wide general uh, question on that. Let's just talk about the relationship building on. Um, and you mentioned on how important that is and Facebook mm -hmm. is one way, but also to join, you know, communities, be volunteering, yes. whatever. And, you know, for those of you that say, oh, I don't have enough time. Again, remember, Christina is running her own business. She has five kids. And then like you heard her that, you know, she's uh, she's helping uh, volunteer at her church. She's also helping with foster care. Is that right? Is that what you said? There's a local foster program here and, uh, I do fundraiser for them and educate them and um, promote them as well on social media. So it's yeah. a, a, a important, something that's important to me. I'm not able to bring on foster kids myself, but if I can help them, I, I want to. Yes, yes, yes. And that's great on, on what's important to you. And that's a key thing there too. A component is do everything that you get energized uh, with. And one of the ways that you know what that is, is what are your passions? And so for you helping, you know, with that passion. And uh, so is there any other way that you keep up with them besides Facebook or making sure you attend these events? Is there mm -hmm. anything, uh, you know, we have the automatic drip campaign. Is there anything else that you do? How do you Hook them. Are there some a couple of ways? Yeah. Yeah. So in KP Core, um, there's a dashboard, and on the dashboard, it shows you who is most recently active in looking at properties. Mm -hmm. So every day, I at least I spend at least 30 to 60 minutes, um, sort of going through whoever has interacted with my website in the last 24 hours, and I will send them a personal note, just say, "Hey, I saw you were looking at some properties yesterday." And um, here's a couple more that might be similar to the ones you were looking at yesterday. Um, sometimes if I'm out and about and I see like, for example, two days ago, we had one house that came through in my farm area that became available. And for whatever reason, I had like six different leads looking at this house. Um, so when I was out and about, I happened to drive past it. So I just took a little picture of the house and I put it out. To the, those people that were looking at it, I sent them all an email and just said, you know, hey, this is the house that you were looking at the other day. I just drove by it. The neighborhood looks great. I'd love to show it to you sometime if you have time this weekend. Wow, that's great. So how many hours, and this will be uh, pretty much, you know, the last uh, question, if you will, and then anything else that you would like to add, but how, uh, what's your routine during the week? How many hours do you work, whatever, how, you know, what do you do in that routine? So, you know, it's different from day to day, uh, sure. depending on, you know, my kid's schedule and whatever else I have going on. Yeah. Um, but I do try to focus at least every single day, 30 to 60 minutes, just on lead nurturing, not necessarily lead generation. Some of it's lead generation, but majority of it is lead nurturing. So uh -huh. the leads that I have and building relationships with them. If they're on social media with me, I will go to their page and I will like some of their pictures and I'll comment on it. If it's a group, of a Facebook group that's for the neighborhood that I'm farming, I will go into the Facebook group and I will comment on things and like things and share 
you know, community events to my, you know, business page that I see other people sharing and then they'll, they'll thank me for that. They'll see that I shared it and they'll thank me. So things like that, um, I, I, that are my productive time. So that 30 to 60 minutes, I'm very focused on making sure that I'm nurturing those relationships to build myself up in not only my leads, but to the people who I don't even know are leads yet that are out there watching me and thinking about maybe yeah. contacting me or you know they're seeing me post my ads in the Facebook groups but they're also seeing me interact and mm -hmm. be personal. yeah yeah great and so that's a that's 30 to 60 minutes uh, you try to do daily anything mm -hmm. um, else on a daily weekly basis again you input I'm guessing maybe a half hour every week on Monday to input listings into KB core is that what you do or how do you do that Listings, meaning uh, 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 grab uh, you grab the listings and then you put it into oh. the squeeze page for KB Core. Gotcha. So um, I generally will use um, one of two things. I will use either the buyer squeeze page, which gives my um, ad or my post on social media multiple listings for my buyers, my potential buyers to look at, um, or I will do a seller squeeze page, which actually encourages them to get the value of their house. There is for a squeeze page for a single listing, but I generally don't use that unless it is a property that I'm doing an open house for or a listing that I just put live. Um, and then, so generally I don't use that part of it. I use the broader, here's all the properties that are available in Hudson this week that just came on the market and put that into a Facebook post and then I'll share it to the Hudson chat group on the day that they allow business posts. Uh, I see. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's the other thing is that you then are posting into groups on Facebook. And so, um, very active uh, in that. Okay. Very active. Okay. Uh, post in, in, uh, groups. And then, uh, you do the buyer squeeze page, the seller mm -hmm. squeeze page. Um, and then daily do the 30 to 60 minutes and then you're doing some things. So how many hours would you say that you, uh, work a week? Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a trick question because I'm yeah. working. I feel like even when I'm yeah, I'm right. working. Yeah. Um, but I would say I'm working full time for sure. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I can't give you an exact number because it does vary. But sure, you know, sure. Um, I I get up at six o'clock every morning and yeah. I've got my routine. I get my kids off to school. I go yeah. to my working meetings. I you know I do my my lead nurturing and my social media and then. You know, I go on appointments, I show houses, I'm answering uh, calls. It's especially now 14 contracts pending. I am like so busy, uh, having a hard time keeping it all straight. So <laughs> I'm not close to hiring an assistant, Dr. Hank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the next step is I have a mm -hmm. great podcast for you to see on how to uh, leverage yourself. Leverage, uh, yes. You know, that, that uh, you just don't have enough time. That That's why I have like agents that do 100 million and like they're traveling all the time and, you know, doing a bunch of stuff, kind of like what I do. And, you know, I travel mm -hmm. the world about half the time. And, you know, people say, like, how do you do that? <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. and it's really being able to, I mean, I do loving, tender care to all of my, you know, people and clients, you know, whatever. Uh, but at the same time that I have everybody else doing other stuff, you know, and, and right. communicating with them differently and under my email, even, you know, that I have like my, my virtual assistant. Mm -hmm. So one thing that I would recommend is get a virtual assistant because you're at the point where, and they're really not that much money. Um, it's maybe $10 an hour. And um, if you want to use mine, for example, she's $20 an hour, but she counts the minutes. And so like, you know, like if I would do a phone call, I counted an hour when I was a business consultant. Well, she counts that it was three minutes and 30 seconds, you know, so it ends up being that, you know, to do that. But I will send you a couple things and, uh, and for our audience that if you want to know how to leverage yourself, I have some great podcasts on how to do that with the experts in the industry on that. Well, with that, Christina, that um, I, I'm going to let you go with all the kiddos and everything. Is there any uh, thing that you would like to leave us uh, any closing comments that you have? Yeah, Dr. Hank, my biggest thing is just believe in yourself. You know, um, I just shared a story on my personal page the other day, actually, about the, I, my very first real estate company that I was with. When I chose to leave that company because it just didn't feel like a good fit for me, nothing specific, it just wasn't good for me. And um, 
the owner of that company took it very hard and was very hard on me in return and basically told me that I would never be successful in real estate. Mm. <laughs> it oh. hit for me emotionally for about six months. And um, when I was able to overcome that and start believing in myself, yeah. everything. Yeah. You know, I just love that. And for all of us to believe in ourselves and at the same time for you, Christina, and for again, all of us that we actually can bless that, you know, broker, that guy that said, Hey, you'll never make it in real estate because everything is a blessing. And where that blessing was is that it got you determined that I'm, I'm proving that guy wrong. <laughs> you know, he's not, he's not going to, I'm not that way. I know I'm bigger yeah. and I'm better than that. And so it actually got you geared up. And that's this beauty about just pointing at it and saying, this is what I don't want. What do I want? And then getting to what you do want. Listen, I know that agents will want to contact you and ask you specific information about that and make it rain and KB core and how to get it cheap and, uh, you know, inexpensive for just 50 dollars. So could you share with us? your contact information um, so that they could uh, contact you and hear more of fun details? Absolutely. So I'm going to spell my last name because it's sort of long. <laughs> Use it and find me on social media. And my last name is Probion. It's P-R-O-B-E-Y-A-H N like Nancy. Probion. And um, you'll find me on Facebook or Instagram a little bit. <laughs> and, and, and um, you call me. Yep. Yeah, and I, my phone number is 727-744-7211. I'm based out of the Tampa Bay area in Florida and um, helping other realtors is my passion. So feel free to reach out. Oh, that's just fantastic. Well, I love that. And, uh, and then your email, uh, per, first name, Christina. With a and C. then and then dot uh, probian at exp.realty.com. No, 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 exp realty at exp realty .com, sorry. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, with that, I thank you so much, Christina. You've just been a blessing for us and for all of us to believe in ourselves and to know that if Christina could do it, she had all these odds working against her, broker working against her, uh, you know, all these kiddos that, that she had, you know, all these different things. And uh, she just is an example to inspire and to uplift all of us to know that it, Christina can make it you can make it too. And so get rid of those excuses that you have on why you can't, not enough time, too busy, blah, 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 that Christina has more than enough excuses on why she couldn't be successful, but she is very successful. So if you want to start selling five or six homes, closing five or six homes a month, be like Christina and uh, believe in yourself. And then we gave you some real good, solid action steps in order to do that. Christina, thank you so much. You are just marvelous. We love you and uh, bless you. Thank you, and Dr. Hank. All the best. Okay, thank you, darling. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.